Now that, Rand, uh, that uh, Andrew did my speech, I'll sit down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. uh, you want that more detail than that? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Uh, yeah, no, uh, anything more cost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Small business. Um, I say, well, well, we've heard what uh, what I do there. Uh, we have uh, one of the things there is we're raising two of our grandsons. Uh, when I first started to get involved in Rotary was like, 13 and a half years ago. And we had to back off because our one grandson we, we had just received <coughs> ended up... Uh, being diagnosed with a very serious um, condition. Uh, I remember racing from a rotary breakfast, doing about 120 through the city. Fortunately, I was in the morning club, so nobody else was up. Uh, <laughs> and our grandson was having a massive seizure. Uh, we got to know the ambulance attendants quite well. Uh, uh, but that was a journey, and uh, so I had to step back from Rotary and some of the other things I was doing. Uh, uh, and it's been a process we, with, with uh, Jesse and, uh, and then we had Jesse, then we ended up getting another grandson. Uh, so nah, we, we got Jesse at about a week past a year old and William at six months old. And one is 11 now, almost 12, and the other one is 14 and 40. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, that's kind of a bit of me. I was I'm 13th born out of 14. We had 11 boys, three girls. I was the 10th boy of the 10th boy. Uh, I always say say that God gifted me with my mouth. He never gave me control over it. <laughs> 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 Which obviously you can tell has got me into some tight spots. Uh, I was talking to somebody last night and talking about that, and I said I, I, when I was younger, I could run faster than a squirrel up a tree, especially with three brothers chasing. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so it's it, it's been quite interesting uh, that way growing up in a volume family. Uh, work ethic uh, had has always played in my life. I was uh, I was first one of my brother's slaves, then I was another brother's slave. <laughs> so slave means you don't get paid. Okay? I remember uh, I was a pack mule at one time when my brothers go out hunting. I was the youngest youngest one, so they used to. Whatever they shot would tie together, strap over my shoulders, and give me a rifle to balance myself out so I would fall. Uh, and then the fun part is I got to clean everything. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, it, we, I was born in Cornwall, but I grew up in Brockville, and Brockville has been part of my life even when I was in the military and did uh, sales on the road and that brothel always seemed to draw me up. And when, uh, when I have a daughter in Ottawa and when she came, it was you know time to decide, okay, where am I going to do life, so to speak, and where, where did I feel that my child would have a healthy uh, a life and a happy life and got drawn back to Brockville. And uh, in that, that there's the, my passion for Brockville, what Brockville has poured into my life and part of the reason why I'm with Rotary, uh, came back to Rotary, it was always, has always been a desire for the last 13 years to have that opportunity to come back and be able to be part of something I feel it does great things for our community and reaches past our community. Um, uh, uh, 
very involved in our, our community politically, helping uh, wherever I, I, I could, <coughs> even a jaunt uh, a shot at mayor and at council. Uh, it, it was fun. I, um, I remember running for mayor, and at one time in that run, I was considered the, 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 the candidate that was going to be mayor, because everybody dropped it. <laughs> so there was a brief moment, I remember I was down in Ohio, and I, I received a call from uh, Ron Zajac, going, so how does it feel to be the mayor designate? And I'm on vacation going, Okay, what does that mean? And uh, <laughs> and then that's where, how I found out that the other candidates dropped out. Soon after that, um, uh, Dave came in and Tony put his name forward. So it was like um, I it was really good. It was really close. I came in third uh, out of three. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, what was really to me, it was like. Uh, I think I prepared myself mentally for what, whatever happened, but what really spoke to me was, and this is the community uh, coming to, to each one of us, was um, I had, again, Ron Zajac come up to me and say, you realize you have a voice now in this community. And he said, don't waste it, use it. Uh, and uh, I, it, it, that profoundly stuck with me from that moment. And then I had others come up to me and, and uh, say that. And it's like, I've always been community-oriented. I, I love to serve. I think everything I've done in my life, I've, I, I've, it's, uh, if it's real estate, uh, I'm an ordained minister. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've been, yeah, did <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, 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 I profusely apologize to your wife, okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well said. <laughs> I married one of our daughters. Yeah, yeah and I did... Uh, Charlie's. Tim's daughter. Yeah. And, uh, and so, um, you know, and uh, I've done stuff on your end, too, which is... Uh, uh, I think the hardest thing to ever do is to say goodbye to someone that is in our community because our community is small. And I think when we meet each other, there's that uh, <coughs> connection. And uh, I, I, what I've always felt about Brockfulness, there's always been a love uh, for community, a love to see things build. And that's helped, you know, the old saying that a community raises a child and growing up here, that's where I feel is that Brockville was helped raise me to be who I am today and how I, I want to see others uh, uh, see Brockville. So, uh, you know, I, what else can I say? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of like, um, right now I'm figured I was like I had multiple businesses and I knew at what, one point they were like physical businesses and I knew I needed to start thinking with my head literally business wise and I ended up getting into real estate and some, some other things uh, and I think okay real estate great getting into that I can coast I uh, you know I mentioned Warren Mallory uh, that was my mentor into real estate. Uh, uh, it took me a year to get him to hire me. Uh, and I sat in his office. This is my determination. I sat in his office from 7.30 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. I saw realtors coming in wanting to work with him and walk out the door within, I would, he was really good at, I'd say seven to 15 minutes. They are walking out the door with their tail between their, their legs and going to any other brokerage. Uh, I remember he walked by me by lunch. I stayed right through there. At 4.30, he said, what is it going to take to get rid of you? Hmm? I said, tired. 
<laughs> so that's how uh, it was a year process. That day was the day he finally came. So, um, uh, um, so that's my persistence with Brockle. <laughs> See, I, I don't care what people say or whatever. It's like Brockle has a tenacity, and that's what that I learned from Brockle is. If you have the tenacity and the endurance, you're, it, we can achieve anything, regardless of what uh, other people say, other communities say. We may be small, but we have such a big heart to help others, and I, I think that's where where I'll always be. Uh, and in turn, I've taught my grandchildren that we have the privilege of raising. I've taught them to uh, the best way to uh, help others is to serve them and to engage in our community, in, even at their age. Um, is that good? My good guys? Yeah. Anything else you want to know? That's it. I just want to make sure I understood you. So you're blaming Brockville for you. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> you, can, you got it. Yeah. And somebody may, t some people may take us to to court on that. Uh, Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do you still get along with your brothers? Uh, yeah, especially the ones I bury. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a special reason. <laughs> I've actually, I've, we're, we're half now, uh, there's half of us left now, um, and uh, I, I would say the one that I least get along with is the one just above me, yeah, we, we always say, they'll ask me, do you know this guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we saw your name along with his in the column, so, uh, yeah, but. Um, no, uh, we're half now, uh, so we do, I do get along with uh, uh, the ones that are left, and uh, uh, it's, uh, again, uh, going back to you, I saw your, that's the only reason I didn't shake your hand, it's like, I really, you know, nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> but, um, I, I read Doug's uh, coat, and I'm going, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Last responder, I'm going, I got that one. But, uh, yeah, and, and, uh, no, that's good. Uh, got anything? it. Mark, uh, initially, it's good to see you back at, at Rotary. And it's like, Tim, good to see you back at Rotary as well. And uh, I like classification talks in as much as you really find out from the person, is he going to stay? Do we have a good retention here? Yeah. And it brings out the inner core of what you're all about. And I think it's like a road trip. A lot of the board are pretty thinking through road trips with them. So you're here for the right reason. You're not trying to build your obituary up for anybody else <laughs> or your business. You're here for a service above self. And, that. and I really enjoy what you had said today. And uh, you're right from the heart here. You should also know that he was the great pumpkin last night. That's why. That's in honor of my Dutch friends. <laughs> But you're here to turn into at midnight. You got it, buddy. My wife has been trying to return me for a life. Well, thanks again. And they had a good mentor in Lauren Mallory. I did know her very well for a long time. Okay. Photo? Photo up? I didn't wear orange. I didn't. You brought him back. You're okay. Yeah. Hang on. Here you go. We're used to the routine here. Oh, come on, smile. You guys. Hard to smile. Okay. Okay. Thank you.